Hello viewers, um, I thought I owed you an explanation on this, uh, which was just about the last thing that came out. It's this golden gnome on, uh, on the bottom and uh, a 45 degree isosceles triangle on the top. Um, um, explains much of this circle. It explains what, actually why this line up here is it's slightly slanted. However, I w would like to just stress something else about, oh, he's just drawn lines on a page. No, I I've not drawn lines on a page. I have drawn lines using a spreadsheet. And I've, well, I haven't drawn lines. I've generated coordinates using a spreadsheet. Here's my spreadsheet. Those two points there are the two input points. I can adjust those slightly just to... I am generating coordinates from a spreadsheet. I can adjust this 906 there, which is the X coordinate of the G spot. I can have an extra one on it. And when I do that, just for fun, then uh, what happens is, oh, uh, the spreadsheet starts going bonkers because everything down here is dependent initially on these two points. Now there's a slight extra to that in that I need the, the I need two extra values, which are the x values to refine the base of the pyramid, but that's it. In total it's six numbers. So you can see that thing's churning around. Uh, if we just look, I'll just show you um, what these formula are. So the thought dot, which is the dot after the uh, at the second of the uh, of the two T's um, for T T, uh, and that full stop, which has a uh, uh, a triangle pointing, uh, an arrow pointing at sixty degrees in the vertical, um, is the intersection of the G spot to G base, which is a point that I've defined. I can show you. Um, that's parallel with it. It's actually the right foot of the Cairo, and then the the line between the phi and the pi triangles. And I can show you the phi triangle. The phi triangle is equal to the shape vertex, the second vertex of the phi shape. And uh, I've got the shapes in blocks here. And here is the phi, and it starts at what? Well, now it says nine oh seven. Uh, that's the uh, starts at the G spot, it's got a length of length, which I can show you, which is actually just the, the distance between the G spot and the imprinted dot. It's got three lines, etc. So this, this thing creates all the uh, the shapes. Uh, um, and then once that's calmed down, uh, I can then uh, click this special export thing that I've got, and that will create uh, a file which I can then download as a comma separated value file and uh, that's actually the fourth time now that I've just done that on this test uh, but that will download a file which I can then load into GIMP and uh, it's going to create uh, a lot of lines uh, but for all those lines so to be clear about this in terms of have I drawn you know, you're just drawing lines on a page. The only line on, a draw on the page that I've drawn, if you like, is from the G to the imprinted dot. Everything else is generated. Now this, with these guidelines uh, I've got here, uh, just illustrates that this upper rule is visibly shorter than the lower rule. It's also centered quite nicely. Now, according to the geometry, it should actually just be over to the left and just short on the right side. Um, if we look uh, here, you'll see that this 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 arc is obviously going to. You can see it's bending down. It goes out and then it comes back again. And as a result of that, as a result of the geometry, uh, the apex of uh, an isosceles triangle on this smaller and shifted to the left version according to the geometry. Um, is obviously going to be to the left of where uh, the center line of the lower rule is, if it's if it's shoved over to the to the left, uh, and it intersects perfectly. I mean that that apex 
is on uh, the stem of that M, and this red line goes straight through the monkey's head. I didn't make it do that, that's just what comes out. Now, as I say, the uh, upper rule is actually smaller than it needs to be, and in order to get it so that it's both ends are on these 45 degree lines, it's at a slant. You know, if you, if, you, if you swing this up, this is obviously going to get a bit shorter, isn't it? So, so that's, um, if we go up here, you can see that that is on that line there. That's, that, that's the end of that, and it's been shoved up. As I say, it's a bit too short, and, the, and this one should actually hang over a little bit on that side. It should, it should actually be to the left of it, just a teeny, teeny bit. Um, the lower one is, is, is quite considerably too big. My calculations are that that is where the perfect base of the pyramid is. And I know that that is the perfect base of the pyramid because when I zoom out and I go uh, and look at things like that, that nice circular dot is perfectly predicted. I mean, there's loads of stuff on here that's perfectly predicted, but that point and that point there, um, which is a circle that appears to have uh, 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 two in, in, in inverted convex points there. I'm not sure what that, what, what that is supposed to mean, um, other than that it's a nice handy dot. Um, so, so there, so I haven't drawn lines. I've generated a geometry, and so we can look, I'll look a little bit now at how coincident that geometry is, and it is very coincident on a lot of points, but the real issue, or the, 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 the final, you know, profound thing, which is beyond the, all this, beyond all this coincidence, is that there are a series, there's at least half a dozen, but there's three really spectacular ones, uh, of what I've called... Um, geometric coincidences or, or, or uh, pseudo geometry and this red triangle on the bottom is one of them because as you can see the red triangle is uh its apex is it's not perfectly actually but it's almost right in the middle of that six where the blue line hits the circle that's the center line of the of the uh um of the pyramid if you look up there that goes straight through the from the apex of the pyramid, and where that hits the six, well, it just so happens that a 36 degree golden gnomon also goes into there. That's not natural. It is, you know, it's, it's 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 not as though you know. Oh, of course, if you you know if you do that, you end up back in the same place. It's, uh, so, um, and I've got two others of these. Um, now, just sticking on this golden gnomon, you'll, you'll see that a uh, an 18 degree line from the vertical creating a, 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 a golden triangle here goes straight through the T, runs along the side of the W, but also on the other side, that Y is dragged a little bit further down than this Y. That, what, that, that line there isn't at 18 degrees. This Y has got an 18 degree line, and it's, and it's only a minor thing, but it's... it's well, uh, I, but also... And this is really cool uh, in terms of the corroboration of this is that on that uh, uh, on the eye of William, second eye of William, there is a, a, a dot on there that we go straight through. I need to go to the original just to show you that dot, um, which is here. And you can see, oh, it's got a funny line through it, doesn't it? It looks like it's got a funny line through it. So let's just go over to the actual wireframe. And look at our vector. And as you can see, that just goes straight through there. Now, um, the, what, I've, what I also discovered was that the extensions of the star chart lines go nicely through the eyes. This one goes down the side of the eye. It's not perfect. That's that's the twenty degree line. This line, and there's two there. That's the extension of the uh, sixty three degree line for Tycho's supernova. 
the line next to it is the extension of the 60 degree line that is from here, which is part of that final thing with the A, that final 60, 60, 60 triangle with the A. And that will perfectly define the center of that. So, I mean, it's a minor point. Uh, um, so, uh, and I've also noted that I was trying to explain, you know, the adjusted form of uh, Wall's uh, Cairo. Uh, and I realize there's a simple way of, of looking at it, which is that this line needs to be in the same at the same angle as the slightly incorrect circle is predicting it, but we'll draw it actually from the nine dots as we do the exact nine dot, not the predicted point. Um, but the, 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 we, we do predict this point. We actually manage to work it out based on how the teeny bit that we've missed the... Uh, at the pyramid base, uh, if I then draw that line parallel to the to, uh, to the other one, it just tucks so nicely inside the piece. I, I, it's, just, it's just this business about the lines are supposed to run along the sides of characters, uh, uh, not through them. We've got a couple of instances, obviously in the end here, the the uh, the lines of the of the Fisica Piscis go, go through, but that's there's very very few instances. There's the line on the T, and I think that's it. All the other lines are, are trying to go along the side of the uh, of the character. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's just what I I wanted to say. Other than to congratulate John Anthony on his latest uh, uh, edition, which has just in, in, encouraged me to make you a video. Um, and uh, yeah, I won't have too much of a complaint about why I know this makes any difference, but it's until I get anybody that wants to actually deal with this at a technical level, yeah, it's pretty difficult making these videos um, because I don't think anybody understands anything I'm saying. But they're not lines drawn on a page, okay? They're, it is a geometry that's generated and you're then going to have to whinge about, oh, you just decided where all these bits on the page are. Okay, but the the, 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 the real thing is that, right, so I haven't actually gone through them. Uh, so that's that was the first one, the golden gnomon. The second one is this, uh, uh, what I call Kepler's triangle. So this is an absolute 21 degree line, which goes straight through the notch on the A and then hits the uh this this great uh equilateral triangle on the uh center line of the a and then if you extend this 60 degree line it will go straight through the uh the dad's army arrow on the on the second t that i just showed you how to find the thought dot and it will intersect with the vertical that goes straight through the monkey's head on or virtually exactly on the, the circle and within there there's a kink on the swoop of the a and there's a gap on the s of aspley and you can see that there there's the gap there's the gap in the s you know was that an accident no it's not and then there's the kink on the swoop of a and there is the 30 degree arrow pointing through it and yeah okay you can look at that bit and say well you just you know find that it's all over the page right i got literally scores of these so uh so there um so that's the uh, uh that's the that's the second major one and then the third one is this is actually the first found uh is this tau cross uh and that uh, looks as though that you know that this cross is defined uh, uh, from th that uh, armpit there of the vesica piscis, where the, where, where the hexagon and the pentagram meet. It's not. It's defined from here, from 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 the uh, right angle vertex of that green phi triangle, and it just so happens that it is within one pixel, within. A handful within half a dozen thousands of an inch from where it's supposed to be and because also I mean I guess that this should start from halfway across this half because um, it just seemed reasonable uh, that is what it does because there's a 
fantastic dot there when you've re reflected. But what that then illustrates is that the perimeter of this hexagon is equal to one sixth of the is, it, is it, the perimeter of the hexagon is equal to the length of the base of the pyramid and the and hence the side length of the triangle and the side length of the uh, uh, large pentagram which. Uh, 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 bounds that, uh, that that hexagon. All that stuff is like, uh, you know, that, uh, how did that happen? Now, none of them are perfect. They can't. Anybody with any intuition of this knows that we've got irrational numbers all over the show, and this, this, these aren't going to cancel out. But that's the point. They're so close, and they've been indicated. I wouldn't have found them if they hadn't been indicated. Uh, this one in particular, uh, it certainly wouldn't have worked out that the, the, the hexagon is. So those are these three major things. I mean, there are other ones technically, such as the the uh, the uh, the triple delta dot, which I guess people look at and go, oh, "You just drawn things again." I, I, uh, uh, I I'm so proud of this, uh, uh, but I don't think anybody else. They just you think, well, I could do that. Well, uh, it's 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 a little bit harder. I promise you. Uh, uh, so. Um, so, so that's that. Uh, thank you again, John. Uh, the, by uh, TT map by D. I'm not sure what we're saying for SD, but that's good enough. Uh, uh, and it's just another of these things that's just so shocking. You think, uh, you know, when I first saw that, I thought, that can't be true. Uh, but there are so many of these particular, you know, on that, on the, on the dedication, it, 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 what's just so amazing about it is how you can fit so much in um, to that same area uh, and for people still to ignore it. Um, so um, that's your lot. I'll try and edit that down and cut down the interjections. Uh, Slava, Ukraine.